Hi, how's it going guys? My name is Ray. And I've seen a lot of these things going around the internet lately. And so I thought to myself, well, I know how to make this, so why not I share it with you guys? That's why today I'm going to show you how to make Japanese cheesecake. Let's go! Start by mixing 250 grams of cream cheese with 6 egg yolk. Just separate the whites into another bowl and try to prevent any yolk from getting mixed into the whites. This way of doing this recipe is very simplified but I think it does work and it's much easier than the original way. You just have to combine everything into blender and mix it all together. Next add in 2 tablespoons of sugar, 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract, 3 quarter cup of plain flour, Just try to distribute it around so it's easier to close. And last but not least, just add in 1 cup of milk. Preferably full cream. And just close the lid, set it up, and blitz away. And when your mixture looks smooth like this, that's ready to go. And after that, you gotta whisk the egg whites until it reaches stiff peak. And halfway through, you can stop and add in some sugar, 2 tablespoons at a time. In this recipe, I'm only using 4 tablespoons of sugar for the egg whites, but feel free to add more, because in this recipe, I'm just following the usual flavor profile for this cake, which has very subtle sweetness. I don't know why, but that's how it is traditionally. And when your egg whites has reached stiff peak and it doesn't fall off the bowl anymore when you tilt it like that, that means it's ready to go. Now we're gonna add the egg whites mixture into the cream cheese mixture little by little. In the first few addition, you can use whisk to make sure there is no lump whatsoever in the mixture. But after you add in a third of the egg whites in total, you gotta switch to spatula and use folding motion. Or you can also try doing it like this by scratching the egg whites on top of the mixture and folding it back in later. After adding in all the egg whites, your mixture should look very foamy and very light like that. All you gotta do now is just to make sure you don't overmix it and knocking the air out. Next, just smear some butter all over the pan or cake tin, whatever you wanna call it. And now we're gonna try to cut off a portion of baking paper to fit the bottom of the pan. And what I usually do is just to measure the diameter like that and cut off a circle out of it. But as you can see, I'm really bad at this kind of fiddly job. So you shouldn't really be taking my advice on this. And once you get it nicely fit in like that, just start putting in the batter. And cover the sides and bottom with some aluminum foil. Because we're gonna bake this a la bain marie. Meaning we're gonna add in some hot water around the side so it bakes and steam at the same time. Just grab yourself a roasting pan and pour in some hot water about 2 cm tall and just drop the cake tin into the roasting pan. And now we just have to bake it in a preheated oven at 150 degrees celsius for about 15 minutes. And after the 15 minutes period, we gotta let it cool down slowly, so we're just gonna put in a rolling pin on the door sill for about 10 minutes. And after that, you gotta let it cool down on the bench for another 10 minutes, at which point it should shrink a little bit like that, that's why it's a little bit wrinkly. And before you remove it from the pan, just make sure you use a spatula to scrape the sides first. And just try to remove it gently. And believe it or not, it's actually ready to serve. A way to check if you have successfully baked this cake is to do the wiggle test. If it wiggles nicely like that, that means you've done it successfully. Now you have two options, you can serve it as it is like this. Or you can brush some syrup on top. I'm using the yuzu syrup today, the one from my previous cheesecake recipe. Another good option would be either to use marmalade or apricot jam. It's all really up to your personal taste. And there you have it guys, my take on the fluffy wiggly Japanese cheesecake.
I hope you like that simple recipe and if you did please leave this video a like and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Twitter and here are links to my previous video so check it out guys and links and measurements gonna be in the description box below and don't forget to leave a comment below let me know what you wanna see me cook next week see you next time guys bye